Ark Stockton Art Centre. There is an image of Ark, which is a large glass fronted building, curved and positioned on a crossroads in Stockton on Tees. The lighting is blue and purple, and on the ground floor the lighting is amber, which echoes the colours on the outside of the building. Disabled Lead Work Policy, Ark Stockton. I'm Vicky Reeford Sinnett, and I'm a disabled writer and director. I'm a tall white woman in my 50s with teal coloured hair. I'm wearing a dark top with little flowers on it, uh, dark rimmed glasses and a red scarf. I've been involved in the disability arts movement in the UK for many years. And I'm the director of Little Cog, which is a disabled led production company in the northeast of England. I'm also a proud associate artist at ARC. Um, and I've worked in partnership with them for a long time. Image of theatre raked seating with house lights on. ARC is a multi-art form venue based in the Tees Valley, where 25% of the local population is made up of disabled people. An image of Full Circle Theatre Company, seated in an airship on stage that they have made from umbrellas and suitcases. ARC is committed to programming new work by disabled artists and acknowledges that disabled people have often been left out of the arts due to a range of frustrating barriers, including being underestimated and undervalued. So this short film is aimed at disabled artists thinking of approaching ARC to talk about development and programming possibilities. ARC have invited me to talk about the kind of work that excites them, their artistic policy in relation to disabled lead work, and the kind of work that fits in with their broader artistic policy, which aims to show work which is contemporary in its approach and relevant to disabled people's lives today, well, to all people's lives today. An image of a production called Lighthouse, which was bilingual, BSL and spoken English. In the photograph is Collie Metcalf, who has curly red hair pushed up in a bun and is wearing a high collared cream shirt, and Jenny Liskey, who's wearing a brown shirt and cream coloured waistcoat. She's also smoking a pipe. This film accompanies their disabled led work artistic policy, so do read that too. Firstly, it's important to say something about what disability actually means and how that relates to the kind of content which excites ARC. Disability is quite a big word around which there are some misunderstandings and it often gets conflated with illness and health. I'm going to explain why ARC tend not to programme work which is about illness alone. Disability is a wide umbrella term for a social phenomenon. And under it, there are people with all kinds of conditions and impairments. Society views disability in different ways, many of which remain unhelpful to disabled people and our equality. There's something called the medical model of disability, which tends to focus in on a person's condition and the things that they can't do tend to see people as less than or less capable, which is not my experience of disability at all. The social model of disability, which has been put together by disabled people, says that it's the barriers in society that disable us. The poor services, unequal opportunities, and systemic attitudinal barriers, which mean that we don't have an equal role in social or public life. So it's the barriers that disable us, not our conditions. Disability is a social, cultural and historical experience. Unfortunately, because the medical model has been so entrenched in society, people often associate disability with illness, tragedy, suffering and lives less worth living. This translates into the stories which are told about disabled people or have been featuring common tropes and stereotypes. As part of a commitment not to perpetuate damaging views about disabled people because of their conditions, ARC is very careful about what it programmes. They probably won't commission something that's just an exploration of illness alone, as I said. It's much more interesting and impactful if it's set against the social and public experiences of disabled people and reflects the character 
in the piece in a rich and complex way, defined by much more than a condition and how it um, affects them. ARC really wants to programme work which sheds new light on disability in its broadest social context. Other important ingredients um, ARC are looking for is that the work is disabled led. So all the key decision makers and creatives are disabled, writers, directors, devisers, actors, which of course doesn't mean the work has to be about disability. Um, although ARC is keen to tell the stories of disabled people and reflect disability culture and identity and challenge negative perceptions. ARC are very excited by contemporary work which challenges form and engages audiences and none of us want to perpetuate the negative tropes and stereotypes, the tragic but brave stories or stories of suffering which add to that life's not worth living trope. ARC also don't want to programme work which um, falls into the inspiration porn category. That's a term that was coined and made popular by the late Stella Young, who was an amazing writer. Um, in, in inspiration porn, imagery and stories of disabled people are used to inspire and make non-disabled people feel fuzzy inside and better about themselves. It's really good to know the context of disabled led work if it's something that's new to you. So do check out the stories disabled theatre makers have been telling, look at their websites. Um, but Disability Arts Online is a brilliant place to start when you're researching disabled led work. It's important to say um, the ARC is not dismissing or ignoring um, important work about pain and illness. Um, as long as those stories are multidimensional and are not um, perpetuating the, the thing that being a disabled person is just completely awful, uh, there need to be layers to the work. So do talk to them about, about their programming policy. Um, artists must make the work that they want to make with the people they want to work with. It needs to be on your terms. And so finding the right partners for that work is crucial. ARC would love to see your thinking about accessibility within your practice and also access for audiences, um, as they are with all artists, encouraging people to think about BSL, audio description, captions and relaxed performances. There's lots of advice on offer at ARC about this. So do, do talk to them about it. Um, and most of all, enjoy making rich, complex, powerful work.